Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Yondercraft. In between episodes, I, uh, added some supports to the conveyor belts, uh, and also some staircases, uh, just because they were, <laughs> they were starting to irk me. Um, I also found some stuff in my ender chest that I don't remember acquiring. So I do actually have plans for today's episode. Uh, you may have noticed that the past few episodes, there haven't been any time lapses. Um, but I've been doing a little bit of science behind the scenes, and I do think that I've designed a machine that'll help us get, uh, time lapses going again. So I'm gonna grab a shulker full of supplies, and then we'll come back and I'll- I'll show you what I've been working on. Alright. So I have all the supplies we'll need to make the uh, machines. I think I have already screwed that up, yeah. They're actually relatively simple. Uh, I am gonna fill them with white sand to start, but uh, it is going to produce time crystals as the final product. Uh, you might be wondering what a time crystal is. Um, I'll demonstrate that when we get our first crystal produced. Uh, if I've done my calculations right, we should get the crystal that we need, uh, like, first go. I'm already short some supplies. Um, we should get the crystal that we need very quickly on. Uh, and it will be nice and easy to get the rest of the crystals produced. Um, I have to run and get more materials real quick. Okay, I actually have all of my supplies now. It does help when you organize stuff prior to building it, I have discovered. Just a little bit. Alright. isn't going to spawn inside of my time crystal generator. Not where I want to put it. Let me... There we go, there we go. And there for a little bit of exhaust. Okay. Now the, uh... This stuff has names, I'm just not good at remembering them. Uh, the exhaust. The output. We already have an exhaust. Um, I forgot another very important part, so again, I will be right back. I have the necessary items. There we go. So this is a time crystal production machine. Uh, right now it's white because it isn't producing any specific type of crystal, but uh, once I've built the rest of them and activated it, this will uh, turn colorful and then eventually this will uh, crystallize as well as match that color um, and especially once I take all of my stuff back out of this uh, barrel we'll start getting time crystals so I'm gonna go ahead and build the rest of them and then I'm gonna activate them uh, because activating them actually requires a special item that I uh, am very happy that I got a while ago and kept all right I have uh, 
five machines here. You can see that some of them got cut off by height, but this is the full machine. Uh, don't worry about the ceiling there. Uh, I'll sort of fix it up a little bit. I built five because, as far as I'm aware, there's only five that these machines can synthesize. And also that I understand how to use. Um, so now we get to go get the supplies that we have to use to charge it. Yes. This. This. And this. Okay. Do I have the... I do now. So charging it is quite simple. I do have to grab a little bit more supplies, but I have those in here. Um, there they are. So the thing about charging time crystals is that time is valuable and so you gotta kind of you know put things in that have value equivalent to time uh, and sometimes having enough nether brick fences to sort of reach all the way is helpful, but I don't have that. Um, so we'll be charging these two at a time, it seems. Uh, I just cannot win. crystals are charged by value because of course time is valuable uh, this is enough stuff to charge uh, five uh, crystal generators um, but I don't have any idea how long it'll take um, so I'll keep this hooked up off-camera uh, and we'll go do- hello, friend. We'll go do some other stuff while the, uh, crystal machines charge. So, while we wait for the, uh, time crystal generators to, uh, fully charge, um, I thought we could come to the Halloween district. Um, I did do a little bit of work here. Uh, I stuck a lot of the, uh, orange and red and yellow trees around. Uh, that was me. I did that last night. I forgot to record it. Um, but I thought we could come back here and do a little bit of a Halloween build. Uh, just, just, okay, so someone clearly has plans for here. I was just investigating. Uh, and that looks like the don't go farther than that because that's where Moss's base is, Mark. Okay. I'm gonna find a spot and then we're gonna make a pumpkin patch. Alright, so I found this nice little area and cleared out the trees. I don't want to make too big of a... Uh... of a build just because this is supposed to be a quick little thing. Uh, I am going to get a little bit of storage set up. Just because my inventory is very much full and I need it to not be. Alright, uh, let me get 
a little bit of the uh, outline set up. All right. So I'm gonna, let's see, one, two, three, 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 okay. Well, not quite perfect, but I don't really care. <laughs> uh, it's, it's nice, it looks okay. I will need to make these match up an itty bit better, but for now this is good. It just has to kind of stop baddies from getting in, because those are what we don't want. There will be no monsters in my uh, pumpkin patch. He can't get in. <laughs> he can try, but all of his attempts will be in vain. Alright. Let me finish up the walls and then we'll get into clearing out the grass and putting the actual uh, pumpkins in. Okay. Did a little bit of terraforming just to sort of even out the area. Now it's time get some pumpkins in. Uh, so this is supposed to look a little bit like they're naturally grown, but a fair bit of it is also just, yeah, there's pumpkins here. A lot of them. I do, however, have water and seeds, because, you know, gotta plant some. I'm not gonna bone meal them, just feel like it'd be nice if they were to grow naturally. my water dude unbelievable all right two more i can do that okay and then a little bit of wheat just because i don't have the prayer dress and that'll look nice pumpkins. Uh, I don't have sea pickles or I would absolutely be putting them on up for uh, light sources. Uh, and there we go. Uh, I'm going to add some torches to the walls just because light is important. And I know I don't have a lot of that here. Uh, I'm probably still gonna have to add some torches to the center, just so that I know it's well lit. And there we go. Pumpkin patch. Alright. Time to go see if the time crystals are ready. Alright, so we're back at the factory. Uh, we're gonna check on the time crystals. Um, I did move the chest with the stuff around so I could hook it up to all of them. Uh, I d oh, they've changed color. <laughs> Neat. Ooh, that one's a pretty flower. Uh, let's see if we got stuff in the chest left. Hoping the answer is no. Good, good. Uh, that means the stuff I put in was worth enough, I guess, is there- no, that's supposed to be there. Okay. Uh, so now I guess I just kind of let, let these be. <laughs> uh, 
give them a little bit of time to produce crystals. Uh, so. I would AFK, but I'm by spawn chunk, so really I can just go to sleep, honestly. <laughs> I can I can take a quick nap. I can do that. I have to wait until, you know, nighttime to do so, but it can just be overnight. If I thought through the timing a little further, I absolutely would have waited until I could just go to sleep right away, but I want to see what my time crystals do. I want to see what they do. Alright. Show me time crystals. Alright, a slow crystal. A rewind crystal. Fast forwards crystal. A pause. And a record. Alright. I imagine that these take quite a bit of time to actually produce, but uh, the fast forward crystal is what I'm most interested in. Uh, I'm sure you all quite well remember and have noticed that there haven't been as many time lapses in my videos. Uh, this is because my time lapses kind of broke. I, I couldn't figure out how to get them done. Uh, and that's where sort of the science behind the time crystals came in. I thought, well, if I can't do a time lapse, maybe something else can. So, uh, let's, let's see if my theory worked.
then that would be the uh, finished outer structure of the uh, lodge here. I poked windows out off camera just because windows aren't exactly the most interesting thing. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and name it Kevley's. Uh, this is reference to an older special interest of mine. <laughs> uh, if, if you know where it's from, good for you. Uh, same reference that Behemoth came from, but uh, this is what it looks like on the outside. Um, I need to add a little bit of more uh, detail, like with the uh, maple. I think I need to add some that's coming down from the ceiling area. Pardon that. Um, I have rooms blocked out, but nothing is quite set yet because I am running out of time for this episode. Um, downstairs, I should actually... We have the check-in area, and then kitchen and a mess hall. We will send a heart to air effect glitch. Uh, kitchen and a mess hall area. Upstairs, it is a lodge, so we have room areas that I intend to be for uh, different workers. Uh, different sizes, because this is Origins, and we kind of have to accommodate for that. Uh, I am, And then we have an attic where I'll probably just stick, like, uh, snowmobiles and various uh, snow stuff. Uh... It's going to be very similar in style to if I run across my entire base really quick to a super older build that I did. Uh, one of the first ones actually. It's going to be similar to this. Like I'm going to make more black glass and we're going to have just a wonderful, uh, pretty detailed build. Uh, maybe not with as much stuff for uh, the smaller origins to run up and down and around in, but definitely a very good area. And uh, it looks like the time crystals uh, definitely helped me get my uh, time lapses working again. I was able to fast forward right through that. Always helpful. Um, that is all of the time we have for today, so uh, that's not what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. If you're part of the morning crew, I hope you have a great day. If you're part of the evening crew, I hope your day has been great. And if you're part of the afternoon crew, well, I hope your day is going all right. I've been Ruby Robotic, and I'll catch y'all in the next episode.